Hey guys, so we talked about RTR and how, although it's five years old, it has just continued to drop into oblivion. Now we have to talk about the set that people are saying is a wonderful set to put money into, Cons of Tarkir. Cons of Tarkir is a modern set. Was it as popular, in my opinion, as RTR? No, RTR was an incredibly popular set based on a, probably the most popular set of all time, Ravnica. If you played on Ravnica and Descensin, you knew that was the time to play. Stores were always full, uh, drafts were always going on, and that didn't happen during Carnage of Tarkir. Now what does Carnage of Tarkir have? It has five fetch lands, but as we talked about in RTR, five shock lands are not enough. Now are five fetch lands enough? For now they are. The one thing that I think a lot of MTG Finance people are, are ignoring about this, they can reprint the fetch lands anytime they want on any product, just to sell the product. And there will come a point where they ran out of reprints, right? And they're like, okay, Modern Masters 2018, 2019, what can we put in the set? All right, let's put in some fetch lands. Why would, not, why would they not put in this, right? And what else, let's say you got this set, you removed the fetch lands, what else would be in the set? Monastery Swift Spare is being reprinted in Iconic Masters, which tells you that the age of it does not matter. They just reprinted all five Planeswalker from or Origins. Do you think they care about how old the set is? No. So the fetch lands will always be a huge target to be reprinted. And people go, oh, they're not gonna reprint in a few years. And that is not true. Look at the Magic Origins Planeswalkers. All five of them were relatively recent, more recent are the same length as Carnage. Even look at Monastery Swift Spear. One of the more valuable uncommons in this set. One of the more valuable uncommons in general. It got reprinted in Iconic Masters. So no, Conta Tarkir's is not too old. So it used to be there was this um, belief that Wizards would not reprint cards until they got to a certain age. And that would protect your quote investment until then. That is not true anymore. Uh, you look at From the Vault, you look at Iconic Masters, you look at anything they're doing, it tells me that the Fetch lands are going to get reprinted sooner than later. Because they need to sell. So here's the, here's, the, here's the problem. Imagine that there's a mouse and you're giving the mouse a cookie and now it wants a bigger cookie and now it wants a glass of milk. Now it wants a bedtime story. That's what Wizard of Coast has done with its player base. You want Lily? Why don't we give you Lily, Snap, we'll give you Death Shadow, and you know what? And we're we'll throwing the five Zendikar enemy fetch lands. There we go. And people are like, yeah, okay, that was an okay set. What, what else you got? All right, we got this. Why don't we give you something called Iconic Masters, and we'll put in Mana Drain. Mm, okay, that's not great. What else you got? 25th Anniversary Masters. Oh, did we forget Eternal Masters? So... Eventually, the mouse is going to get tired of cookies and milk and bedtime stories, and he's going to bite you. Because I don't believe in any, I do not believe in investing in any sealed product, RTR, or newer. The older products had a much smaller player base and much smaller print run. So they make a little more sense to me, but they've already gone expensive. Innistrad is already expensive even though they printed the two best cards from Instrad, right? So, hmm, yeah. The concept that any modern box has any type of value due to the cards inside it is wrong. Because every card inside it, Future Sight, Tamagoyf, any card can be reprinted to Oblivion. And that is what's happening, which is great for the player base, but bad if you want to speculate on this. So they're punishing people who speculate which I agree with. And you might think, oh, isn't that kind of silly? You're MTG Lion. You're like the number one speculation channel. Yes, it is hypocritical. Okay, I'm glad we got that out of the way. So Contra Tarkir, people love it. I used to love it. And then I saw everything under the sun getting reprinted. And I'm like, whoa, so what is next? Uh, Shocklands? Not that they need to, because RTR is just a, ter a terrible value for a bot right now. And well, no, okay, it's, it's really good value for a bot right now. It's the reverse of what I just said. 
which is not common. Um, so anyway, that's it guys. I'm gonna have one last video like this and maybe we'll make some videos in person. Bye guys.